Hi, this is Samantha House, and today I'm going to show you how to differentiate instruction using your common assessment data with progress learning and the Green Dot Challenge. So I'm going to start off in Performance Matters, and I'm looking at the Student Detail Report. I'm going to navigate over to Standards, and this will show me how a student did for each indicator on a particular common assessment that they took. So you can see this student completed a social studies common assessment and the indicators are shown from strength to weakness. So areas of strength are in blue and they're on the left and areas of weakness are in red and they are on the right. The biggest areas of weakness are farthest to the right. So if I click on 833, I can see that this student scored 0% on that, whereas the class was at about 51%. Although 824 is still in red, the student actually scored 33%. So if I'm going to choose two indicators to focus on for differentiation for this student, it would be 825 and 833. So I would want a conference with the student about their areas of strength and weakness. I will provide this um, Google Doc for you in the comments section of the video and you can feel free to use this if you would like to. But basically it explains to the student that after conferencing with their teacher, they'll know their weakest areas. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. And this assignment is designed to maximize their learning and not waste their time on things that they already know. So you'll share with them their first area of weakness and their second area of weakness and the corresponding activity in progress learning. It walks students through how to get started with progress learning and how to submit their assignment. And so where it says how to get started, I'm going to walk you through that right now. In progress learning, students will start off on their home page and they're going to need to click study plan over on the left. Students will then click their course at the top of the screen or choose additional subjects and scroll down to find their course. So we were looking at social studies, so I'm going to go ahead and select 8th grade social studies. And this is where it gives them different assignments. And so they'll want to refer to their conference sheet for which assignment they're supposed to complete. So if you assigned a student to complete the Colonial Regions assignment, they'll first need to watch the videos that are included in that assignment. Then they will answer the questions. Their assignment is not complete until their dot rank is hopefully a green and their practice progress bar is full. Sometimes if they answer one question right, the dot rank will go ahead and show green, but you know they haven't answered everything because the progress bar is not full. This is a phenomenal way to differentiate because theoretically every student is working in progress learning but on a different assignment and that different assignment isn't random, it's their area of weakness from their common assessment. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more Dear Dis videos.